Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of May 3rd, 2021. And we get four topics this week. The first one is for flight is coming up with new features. So we'll take a look at that. We have uh, footage of the largest aircraft in the world that did another test flight and, and, and the concept is amazing. So I hope you stick around and listen to this. It, it's such a cool project. Uh, we have a hydrogen aircraft that get damaged during a hard landing. I, maybe even more than a hard landing. This was, I think, a crash. And then uh, we have uh, an airline that possibly lost luggage in flight. So let's take a look. First thing this week is for flight uh, version 13.3 and they're adding quite a few new features. So if you're a for flight user, something that you want to look into, they're adding dynamic wind and, and you can see the image playing right here in the background and it's just so cool. And there, there used to be a website and I'm, I'm trying to find the name of the website from the top of my head, but I can't right now that used to do exactly this. Uh, but you can see all the, the, the real time movement of the winds out there and get a cool prediction of it. Uh, wind direction, wind speed and and uh, the temperature, you can get a forecast up to 63,000 feet using ForeFlight. And you can see all the temperature displays in here as well. Uh, they have a color-coded heat map available. And then they have uh, what's called enhanced weather layers. And you can put the radar on there. You can put enhanced satellite information, uh, the color infrared. You can see all the icing conditions around you, which is kind of a big deal uh, if you've ever flown near icing conditions. You have cloud layers and then you also have turbulence. So quite a, big, uh, quite a bit of an update. I usually don't talk about updates on software, but this was a big enough one that I think uh, if you're using ForeFlight, something that you definitely want to look into. Um, I'm going to give you the tip from, from my experience with software like this. ForeFlight does quite a few updates in ForeFlight and other software in aviation. Learn how to use these features. Uh, when, when I get a, an email from a company that does new updates on software, I usually put it aside so I can read all of the new things and learn how to use them. And this is how you add your knowledge and how you stay up to date with you know, what's going on with your technology. And, and ForeFlight is an amazing tool. So make sure that you're familiar on how to use it and then all of the updates that they do. The next thing is this uh, aircraft called Strider Launch. And this is considered the largest aircraft in the world when we talk about wingspan. It's not the heaviest, uh, and it's not the heaviest for a reason. It's not the heaviest because you actually, uh, it's gonna be carrying things. And, and this thing has a 385 feet wingspan. 385 feet, just put that in context in your head. It can fly up to uh, 14,000 14, feet elevation at the moment. Uh, this was what they did on this flight. In reality, it's designed to go up to 35,000 feet and it's designed to carry an aircraft that's gonna be flying at hypersonic speed. We'll talk about hypersonic speed in a second, uh, but it's basically a carrier. It, it's gonna carry this, this smaller capsule, capsule and, um, and once it gets to a certain altitude, it lets it go. And then this capsule is gonna fly really fast. And when I mean really fast, I really mean it. Uh, the test flight was done in Southern California. They reached a, a top speed of 200 miles an hour. Now this thing is not designed to go hypersonic. This thing is designed to just carry carry big things and then drop them. Um, and then they had a three hour flight time. So really cool footage of this thing taking off, just so impressive. Uh, for if you're an aircraft aircraft geek like I am, this is just awesome. Uh, the, the hypersonic aircraft that, that is supposedly gonna be attached to it, it's still in development, is called a Talon A. And this is a fully reusable, autonomous, liquid rocket powered aircraft. And this thing is supposed to fly at Mach 6. Now, if you're doing the math in your head, Mach 6 is 4,600 miles an hour, 4,600 miles an hour. And uh, it's still in development, not something that we've seen just yet. They also have the ability to carry another aircraft called a Black Ice. And this thing is a reusable space plane. So it's supposed to fly even much higher uh, for transporting cargo for right now. And then eventually down the road, they want to convert this into transporting crew. So uh, the, the, the space battle is just so awesome right now between SpaceX and Blue Horizon and, uh, and then this company here. Uh, I just love all these development. It, it's gonna be, it's a really exciting future ahead of us. 
Uh, not so exciting is this aircraft in England. It, it's a Piper M-Class. It's a six-seater. It's powered by a hydrogen-powered uh, electric engine. We talked about it before in one of our uh, news updates, and they were doing a demonstration, I guess, for the hydrogen power uh, aircraft. It looks like the left gear and the wing actually sheared off the aircraft, and you can see the pictures playing in the background right here, and it's, it's just not pretty, unfortunately. So uh, quite a bit of damage. This happened in the UK, and... Uh, not really sure at this stage what the next step is. Um, it, it, there was very little information about this, but I wanted to kind of put it out there. I don't think it means anything for the engine in itself and, and the fact that this doesn't work. I, I love the idea of hydrogen-powered um, electric engines. We talked about electric engine in the last couple of shows, and I, I really think this is where the future is. So I, I'm loving that they're doing this. Uh, sad to see that this aircraft was destroyed, and hopefully they can get back up in the air very soon. The last story is kind of an odd one. Uh, this, this happened in the US. This is American Eagle Flight uh, 3029. This happened on April 24th. And they were flying from Scranton, PA to Chicago. And um, they had to return because of a mechanical issue. And when they came back, one of the person was missing their luggage. And I guess the story behind this is that uh, there possibly was an unsecure compartment that opened up and this luggage get lost in flight. So uh, if you find a luggage somewhere between uh, PA and Chicago, uh, that's who it belongs to right here. This person is looking for it. Uh, not a funny thing really, because this can create obviously a lot of damage if it falls on someone, if this happened. Okay, again, this, there's no uh, concrete proof at the moment, but somebody's missing their luggage um, from that flight after this happened. That's all I have for this week. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, do what you guys do. Love uh, talking to you guys in the comments. If you want drone information, we have our drone news update. Uh, we're talking about drone delivery. We're talking about fully autonomous drones that can fly with no GPS, which is a really cool technology. Uh, we're talking about the Mavic 2 or Mavic 3 leaks. And we're talking about Skydio that has a new aircraft uh, coming out for purchase. And uh, that's it. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you guys next week and fly safe.